Okay, so for this question then, what I've done is sketched out the sector we're given where the angle here, theta, is measured in radians and the radius is r. We're told that the area of the sector is 11 centimetres squares and also given this fact that the perimeter of the sector equals four times the length of the RKB. So we've got to find the exact value of r. So what I'm going to be doing then is just form an equation from this first statement up here about the area and then we'll form another equation from this statement here and we should be able to use simultaneous equations to eliminate theta between them and figure out what r is. Okay, so let's start then with this first statement here that the area of the sector is 11 centimeters squares. So we should be familiar with the fact that an area of a sector is a fraction of the area of a circle. That fraction is theta, if we're measuring it in radians, theta compared with 2 pi. And it's that fraction of the area of a circle, so that's going to be pi r squared, and it equals 11. Most probably, you might not remember it as this formula, those pi's cancel, and you might just remember it as the formula, a half theta r squared, which equals 11. Either way, it doesn't matter, you're going to get down to this equation. And we want to make theta the subject, so if I just multiply through by 2, that would be 22 there, and divide both sides by r squared, we get theta equals 22 over r squared. Okay, so that's our first equation for theta in terms of r. Now what I'm going to do now is just call this equation up here 1 and we're going to build from that. So we'll start up here and just say from 1, okay? From 1, let's build up that equation. Now when it comes to the perimeter of the sector, the distance all the way around, then what we've got is r here and another r there. So that's going to be a total of 2r. And then to that, we've got to add this arc length AB. So the length of an arc is, again, a fraction of the circumference. So that fraction will be theta over 2 pi radians. And the circumference of a circle will be 2 pi r. So it's theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r. And that's going to equal four times, then, the length of the RKB. So we'll have 4 there, and the length of the RKB again is going to be theta over 2 pi times the 2 pi r, the circumference. Now you might not know the formula as this for the length of an arc because those 2 pi's cancel one another out, just leaving you with theta r. But that's how it's derived anyway, okay? Those 2 pi's there cancel out. So we just need to tidy this up and we've therefore got 2r here and we've got a theta r here and 4 theta r. So if we just take theta r from both sides that's going to leave us with 3 theta r. And you'll notice now that the r's cancel here on both sides so I might as well take them out. Now all I need to do now is just sub the value of theta that we found down here. So I'm just going to say sub for theta, okay, and if we do that then we've got the 2 equals 3 times theta, that's 3 times the 22 then over r squared. And what we get now is that 2 equals 66 over r squared just times both sides by r squared and divide by 2, and you end up with r squared equals 33. And from this, it follows that r equals the square root of 33. We want the exact value, so just leave it as the root of 33. It's not going to be plus or minus, because the radius, obviously, is a positive value. And I'm going to put the units in. r is measured in centimetres. OK? So... Hope you're able to see your way through that if it caused any problems.